Hi everybody! So I haven't been here for a while and thank you so much for bearing with me. I see that I have a bunch of new subscribers so thank you everybody for subscribing to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Jasmine's autism update. I've promised this to many people for a while and I'm finally doing it now. Um, I have a minute in time so I'm going to quickly do it now because I've got Wasim sleeping upstairs. Jasmine fell asleep in the bouncer chair right there. And oh, look! That's the first time that I've caught that on tape. Oh my god, I can't believe he just did that on tape. He is just starting to do that. He's going to start crawling soon. I can't believe it. Look at him. Oh my god, sorry. Um, oh my god, he's so adorable. I'm going to be doing an update on him right after this video if nobody wakes up. But this isn't about you right now. This is about Jasmine. Okay, so Jasmine's autism update. Um, she's been going to speech therapy. Um, in like They do eight sessions in eight weeks, and then there's a block of time that you don't have any, and then you come back for another eight sessions. So she did eight sessions of speech therapy, and then you get reassessed to see if you're ready to go to the next level. And she didn't pass. She didn't get to go to the next level. So now she's in the middle of another chunk of um, eight sessions of speech therapy. And she's doing really good this time around. In the last two weeks, she's really picked up on her vocabulary. Um, she's copying Wasim, her older brother, who is two. She's copying him a lot more now, and he's really starting to talk. Like, I can talk to him pretty much like an, an adult. He asks for things, he asks for water, he'll ask for milk, he'll ask for eat. If he wants to eat, he'll ask for the ball. He's really starting to come along with three word sentences, so many words, and she's picking up on that. She's learning from him. So that's fantastic, because that's what we wanted to happen, but it wasn't happening until recently, until like the last two weeks. She's just been, her vocabulary, oh, like for example, she's using things properly, not just saying, oh, hi, 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 hello, hello. She's actually using them properly, and um, so Wasim knows, like, if he's stuck somewhere, like, if he crawls under a table, he'll be like, oh, stuck, I stuck. And so now she's starting to say it. The other day I was hugging her really, really tight, and she was trying to get away, and she said, I stuck, I stuck. And I'm like, yes, you are stuck. <laughs> so she's using it appropriately, and so her language is coming along. Her understanding is more than she can speak. She understands more than she can speak. So, um... I'm, I'm, I know sometimes she knows what I'm talking about, but she just won't do it sometimes, and that's just attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's nothing to do with aut autism, because I know she knows what sit down means, and I know she knows what her name is, but sometimes she just won't, if she's in her own world, she won't answer to her name, and she won't do what you're telling her to do, and um, sometimes that's due to attitude. She's going to be four in July, so, you know, she's getting a little personality, a little attitude, and that's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> and um, sometimes it's because she's just in her own world, and she gets in these zones where she's just, like, into the TV. Nothing else is happening around her but the TV. But she's starting to repeat the TV. Like, we watched a lot of Dora and Barney and a lot of shows that repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and drive parents crazy, but the kids are learning. So she'll repeat and repeat from the show, where she used to just um, get lost, I guess. I'm assuming in the colors and whatnot. Now she's actually listening to the show. So that's pretty cool. They really like to watch Dora. And she'll repeat things in Spanish, and it's really, really cute. But, um... Yeah, so she's been doing speech therapy. She's been doing occupational therapy, but that's about once a month to every two months. She'll get, like, one hour session of occupational therapy. So I don't think that's doing anything for her. Um, no four-year-old is going to remember what she did a month to two months ago. So we go and we do it because, you know, we're supposed to. But I really don't think it's doing anything, really. Um, but she does do occupational therapy. Um, she started in kindergarten in September, and I've gone to all the special needs meetings, and she is registered with her school, and she, they know about her. We've had a meeting with all of her people, her daycare teacher, her uh, speech therapist, 
like all those people that work with her came to this meeting and we all talked about Jasmine to give the school a good idea of how she is, who she is, what she likes, what she doesn't like, what are her strengths and what are her weaknesses. And so she will be getting a TA um, at kin with kindergarten and she, she is still not potty trained and they said that that's not a concern. Kids with special needs, it's normal and it's the TA's job to help and take care of that. So they'll be helping potty train and we're trying to potty train. It's really not working out. She does not get why she's on the toilet. So it's kind of hard when you don't get it. It's kind of hard to understand that when I have this feeling I have to go potty when they're like, what the hell is the potty for? So um, it, uh, we're doing a little bit better with our son. He's two. We're, starting, we're potty training them at the same time. And he's doing a little bit better than her. So hopefully she'll pick up and be like, I want to be like my brother. And hopefully she'll um, start doing that because four-year-old's diapers are not fun. Uh, yeah, so that's potty training in school. That's coming up and that's starting soon, which is great because she loved um, daycare. Uh, we just pulled her out of daycare recently to enjoy our summer because we get penalized if she misses school and we want to do day trips and stuff like that. So uh, we did take them to the zoo for the first time and uh, she didn't really care too much about it. She cared more about the stroller. We have a double stroller and she really likes to play with it. So every time we stopped to see an animal, she was more concerned about buckling up the stroller and Wasim was more concerned about what the animal was. So, and Malik was just sleeping half the time. So it was a lot of fun for Wasim and seeing him make all the noises of the animals and stuff, but she wasn't really into it at all. What's wrong? What's wrong? And he's trying to crawl. Look at that. Are you going to crawl? Are you going to get up? He's getting cranky, so i got to speed this up. That's pretty much all the updates with her. I mean, she's coming along slowly, but she is coming along. Um, with her eating, she um, can feed herself. Sometimes she just refuses to, but she can do it. She can feed herself with a spoon, sometimes with a fork, but sometimes she just chooses not to and will cry and cry and cry, and we'll just have to feed her, and then she's fine. So... We're still working on eating, potty training. We're still working on a lot of stuff. Like I said, it's a work in progress, and she is coming along, but it's just very, very slowly. So we're hoping that kindergarten will kickstart her into watching all the other kids do all these things and stuff like that. So that's about it for Jasmine's autism update. If you have any questions about Jasmine or autism that I haven't answered in this video, leave it below, and I will answer it for you. Um... Thank you again for all my new subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so that you can get updated on when I post a, a video. And after this video, I'm going to be making a six-month-old Malik video. And he'll be in that one. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!